Come on up. That way you can see the fear in my eyes. Make it look real. There are going to be times when you have no option but to get your boat over yourself and get yourself back into it. In which case, we're going to use this device, which is known as a paddle float. Keep in mind, you don't want to have this in a hat or it's not accessible. We have it behind the seat somehow so we can get the access to it. And the theory is to use the buoyancy on this and the tip of your paddle, the buoyancy of your jacket with the scissors kick, to force yourself in that underwater and your hand up. And as your hand comes up, holding on the nose, it's going to automatically roll over. At that point, we're going to use this buoyancy out as leverage and arm and we're going to use this without bending or breaking it just for support to eke our way back onto the boat. And you can notice if I come back on, I'm going to be between the stern of the boat and the paddle. At all times, you want one point, one hand, or one part of the appendage in control, leaning into it for support. I'll talk about it as I go through. You guys ready to watch? Yep. So I'm going to come out of this rascal and float. Or not. Never let go of your boat, of course. All right. Now, one thing you've got to make sure of is you control the vessel. And the easiest way I can know of is just stick a foot inside the cockpit and let your buoyancy take care of the rest. Get a hold of your paddle float. You've got a valve on either side. You've got to twist them open. Put your blade as far in as you can. And fill it up around it. Remember to twist the clothes and you have to do it again. And remember, gents, this happens from the front of the boat. Now I know we have a name on ours, but typically these will be drums will be towards the front. Now remember, the idea is with one C and leverage, I'm going to force this float down, my body down, and my hand up. Are you ready? And as it comes over, smooth motion, it should drain most of the water out. Now here's the really fun part, my favorite. When you come in, remember, you don't want to break this shaft. You just want to use it for support like an outrigger. So if you clamp down with your hand, supporting it, so you get up, you just hook a foot over it. You notice the angle I'm at? It's just for support, nothing else. Now I'm going to get one foot in, the other foot in, and I'm still leaning into that float for support. Any questions? Very nice.